Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be baking some M&M's chocolate chip cookies. Stay tuned. Here is the list of ingredients that I'll be using. I have one cup unsalted butter, which is at room temperature, one cup light brown sugar, three fourths cups of sugar, two large eggs, which is also at room temperature, two teaspoon vanilla extract, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup mini M&Ms, as well as one cup semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. To a large mixing bowl, I add two sticks of butter, which equals to one cup of butter. The butter is at room temperature and it is unsalted. I'll also add the light brown sugar as well as the white sugar. Using a handheld mixer, I'll mix for a few minutes. After mixing for a few minutes, I'm going to add two large eggs that is at room temperature as well as pure vanilla extract and I'll continue to mix until this is well combined. I add the baking soda as well as the salt. And with the all-purpose flour, I'm not going to add it all in at one time. I'm going to slowly add the all-purpose flour, mix with the hand mixer, and I'll continue adding all-purpose flour until everything is well mixed. Now this is how the cookie dough looks. At this point, you can add any topping that you want. You can add dark chocolate, you can add white chocolate, even Reese's Pieces, the mini ones. But since I'm making M&M chocolate chip cookies, I did add one cup of mini M&Ms as well as one cup of the semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. I covered the cookie dough with saran wrap and I placed it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. After, I preheated the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. To form the cookies, I'm basically using a spoon and I'll take some of the cookie dough and roll it into a ball. At this point, you can make them as small as you want or if you wanna make one big cookie, go ahead. I lined the baking sheet with parchment paper, and I did bake these in an oven on 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. After removing the cookies from the oven, you do have to give it some time to set. I did leave the cookies on the baking sheet for about two to three minutes, and then I removed them from the baking sheet and placed them on a cooling rack. Now there you have it, a quick and easy recipe on how to make M&M chocolate chip cookies. I want to say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can share with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next video.